Hello everyone, it's a little dark in here, being as it's getting to be evening. Um, so my bestie, I would tape some of my books uh, to show her my little collection I have. Oh, and this is in my living room, bottom shelf of the entertainment system. And I only have like 15 minutes, so i got to try to make this as quick as I can. This is my gargoyle. I haven't really named him, but he's there to protect the books. He's a protector. Okay, now I'm going to start with, I guess, let's see, sorry, my three ring binders. Excuse the mess, this will be quick, like I said. Okay, this is like a book of shadows. Norse Wicca life book. A little picture of the uh, maiden mother crone. And I can't remember how this goes. Uh, Prince, knight, and king, I think. Or lord. I'm not really sure. The genealogy of um, the Asa True Gods. Then uh, I have like a whole booklet of the Norse gods and um, meanings, I think. Or is it just the gods? I'm not really sure. There. The Norse, Read of Honor. We have that. I got most of this offline quite a long time ago. The, the Read of Honor. I wrote partially of what the Wiccan belief is and the Norse belief of the reeds of honor or beliefs and all kinds of just different stuff. Um, I looked up Stone Creed Grove, um, found some info from them. Um, this is their holidays. Uh, Celtic, Norse, and Hellenic, I believe it's called, about the kindreds, which is kind of like a coven, but it's families. More history um, of the Norse, uh, home and hearth, Norse at home, and yes, I have a lot of it highlighted because quite so many years ago, I went, or I, I lived basically somewhat by that and I also like pictures of the old ways that they had done things um, tools just a lot of different things easy living information is stuff I wrote down for easy living also true folk assembly what it was all about that while the hall but yes, basically this is all Norse religion, um, spirituality, things I got out of magazines, things I wrote. This was a hand fasting for me and my ex way back when. And then of course I got a magazine copied off of it. The Holomall. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Magazine. I got, I don't know what else in here, but that's one book. <clears throat> then, since I am German, I wanted to learn more about Germans. During Germany. Uh, track my history. Um, so, track my history for quite a while. Wanted to find out how Germans had celebrated, once I get to it, I'm reading out loud, sorry, a little bit about Adolf Hitler, and no, I do not, like, worship him or anything like that, or whatever, Germans from at Jamestown, uh, so some information about that, um, <clears throat> year, the year of the sun, and and that, so we got that information. Oh, Germans and German Americans. A um, couple of pictures. I just kind of space the 
things that were uh, taught in Germany. It's been a while since I read these books. It's like Easter. Uh, just information about anything and everything on holidays, what they did, what they ate, stuff like that. And that was another book. Um, then <clears throat> I made this book many, 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 many years ago when my children were all little. Um, days of the week to teach them, but I don't think I ever got around to really teaching them much of anything. Talks about a church, church items, um, what the God and Goddess meant, our ways, and trying to teach them stuff about that. I'm already going on six minutes here, so this is just a book of different things that I wanted to teach my kids way back when. All of this, all of this, came from a German Norse society. Um, let's see if I can find their info. There you go. I don't know if they're still around or not. This is way back in Arizona. And I uh, was more into also true. I hope I'm saying that right, but they gave me just many information on the religion, religious beliefs, just a lot of things that in their magazine uh, publications. All right, now for the uh, some of the books. I have a book by Dorothy Morrison on Yule because we celebrate Yule around here. Christmas is a big time. Yule. My Norse religion I have from here to Northern Mysteries um, and Magic. And that gives you a big listing or information on. Uh, I was had this book in 2007. Um, let's see. Exploring the Northern Tradition. Just a lot of different information in there also. Um, this is... <laughs> I started a book of shadows quite some time ago, but as you can see, I had dogs who had decided to chew things up. So this is just a little short bit of barely anything written in this book, but some spells. I might uh, rewrite some of this stuff in, and uh, into a new book and just get rid of these. Another, another one. There's a lot more written in here. They didn't really draw or do much in these. Another one is The Witch's Journal by Celine Silverwind. It has a lot of different numerology, just a lot of different your tools, consecrate your tools, you know, just things you can do if you feel like it. Um, there's no right or wrong way of doing any of this. This is my favorite book, um, Buckland's Book of Gypsy Magic. I love, 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 love this book because I am very, very drawn to, um, the gypsy ways. Not really sure why, but um, tea reading, palm reading, tarot, everything you can think of is in here. Love magic. Some I would try, some I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. 
and have the Idiot's Guide to the Paranormal. Since I have a lot of paranormal activity around me, have for, well, since, since I can remember, I wanted to study up, read up on it, and learn more about things. So, getting some information there. There's another booklet. I'm not sure anything in here. Uh, oh, yes, this is what I was writing up. Kids. The norms. Pictures. Wrote up who's who. What's what. No, oh, I was writing up all that. Making a little booklet for my family. Here's another one, going on 10 minutes now, that I wrote up, recipes, uh, spells, uh, anything you can think of, feathers, colors, just everything. Anytime I could get my information on something, I would write it up, sorry. This one I thought my bestie Whimsy would like to read. I thought about copying off pages in here, because you got even places to write your natural kitchen magic worksheets, um, kind of enchantments, magical house plants, and the names of them and what they are doing, bibs, bobs, and whatnots. Just a, a whole lot of information in there that I think she would enjoy. Um, ooh, come back here. And when I was in Asa True a lot, I got a book of runes by, where is it? There it is. There. Going on 12 minutes. Gotta make it quick, but it talks about all the runes and how to sum up meanings. Each and every one of them has a meaning. So, that's my book of runes. Then another one on the paranormal by Judith Joyce. And that was goes into a lot of different things too. Your fire alarm went off in your room? Did you start a fire? <laughs> Miss Fort Charles and just different places, different people on that. And then I read these like a Bible. Um, it's the Poetic Edda. introduction and everything but it's almost like a bible and I did learn a lot of things off of different sections if I can get this up here hold on yeah I know okay. a lot of it I put toward myself a lot of it it's meaningful to me Stuff like that. And last book here is the Eddas by Snorri. I hope I'm saying that name right. And I love reading that book also, like a Bible. Mm -hmm. Taking things from it <laughs> that I felt were close to me. Oh, good lord. I also have Vampires and Zombies. A lot of different little things in there that I like to read and look over once in a while. So that's in there. And this is just another 
like a book of shadow beginning, <laughs> as is. So, because I used to take a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of notes. And since I'm getting close to the end, I'm going to say goodbye, and I will uh, do a video on my tarot and runes and my book of shadows soon. My other book of shadows. See you then.